The whole time. The whole time. This is getting real nasty. Uh oh. Hell, you guys. What are y'all shooting at me for? This ain't nice. I know. Hi, horsey. Looks like a metal in there or something. Move out of the way. Get out of the way. Nothing in there. Let's see, map. Need one more red sage. I think we're done. We gotta find the damn thing somewhere. Come on, red sage. There she is. Done. I'll be having that. Aha. Let's go. Alright, let's go see what Seth wants. How far in are we? We are about to wrap up the first area of three. About to go to the big final battle. Of, we got a handful of missions left until the final battle. Before we go to Mexico. Uh, we might try the, the zombie version at some point. We'll see if I feel like doing the zombie one. I don't know how much time we'll have. That DLC is pretty long. Alright, let's go to Seth. Oh, there's the mansion, yeah. too. Where the treasure is. Alright, Seth. You crazy son of a bitch. like that is it huh not talking to Seth today oh the old silent treatment oh whoa -hoo -hoo. Ah, that's quite a stench. hey Seth oh. Oh. Seth come back here 
Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? How you doing? I'm good. Well, uh, see you later, partner. Where you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> okay. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. <laughs> okay, I was just uh, fooling. <laughs> partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. The haunted house? Are you going to talk to me? While we walk? Immersively? Nope! The bastards followed me here! Look, I figured they must be with you. I did all the work. Oh, shit. Good question. Who is next? Your luck out is here, Seth. Your ass would have been dead a long time ago. How come Red Dead Redemption 2 isn't called Red Dead Redemption 3? Because it's not Red Dead Redemption 3. Or Red Dead Revolver 2. It's Red Dead Redemption. So it's a prequel to the second game. But Red Dead Revolver is kind of its own thing. It was never quite as popular as, as Redemption ever got. And it's quite a different kind of game too. Try around the back. This New place, subscriber. This place has ghosts, though. The treasure I need is actually in here, Please, so we're double dipping. Before they find it. Here we go. Come on, Seth. Under a skull in the basement. <laughs> what you got on, friend? Don't let him get my treasure, mister! I won't let him get your treasure. That be? Better be a lot of gold in this treasure. What the hell? Come oh, on, there it is. Please, I can't take him by myself! Ah. I found my treasure right here. Damn! You'll never find it! Are you gonna shoot somebody? No. 
I'm gonna talk my way Don't out of it. Any alive. It is impressive just how many oh, like a better dead. idiotic miners there are to kill. Like, there's so many of them. Sons of bitches. Is this your treasure? It's just yeah! sitting out in the open. <laughs> Finally, I see the light at the end of this very long, long tunnel. <laughs> Seth's gonna be rich after all these years. <laughs> it's silk sheets and Parisian whores from now on, mister. Damn hell is this? A glass eye. I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> the stupid liars. The stupid chicken shit maps. Making a damn fool of me. A glass eye. <laughs> it's a glass eye. Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. Hunting dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready. All that time, all that effort for a shitty glass eye. Hello. 16 ammo and no good money. The real treasure was the friendships you made along the way. Aww. Isn't that adorable? I think it's time to go get Bill. I come for you, Bill. Oh, yeah. Let's go get Bill. Let's go. Oh, what? While we're doing that, let's see what the uh, next treasure is. Rio del Toro, there is a tree with a skull on it. It's where the Rio del Toro has like a bump on it. Maybe right there? Probably right there.
thing I don't like is revolver. The uh, the Winchester is just so OP. Whoa. Ow, shit! Fire! I'm gonna leave you right here. And I'm sure someone will find you before the train comes. <laughs> Come on. Well, let me loot the bodies real fast. Could be some money. Rest in peace, my friend. No, no, no. Yeah. All right. Then that one, and there's one over here. No, we haven't lost the horse in like a good five minutes. It's a big improvement. Where actually is the train? I don't see the train at all. Where the hell is the train? Oh, it's right there. Oh, it's gonna leave Armadillo and come right this way in a few minutes. <laughs> Come here. I'll take you this way. Come on. Chat wants to see it happen, so we'll do it for chat. We got her this way anyways. How does she not fall? <laughs> That's a good question. Did I look into another armoire? No. This woman tried to rob me with her friends. She must be put down. Let's go. Uh, it's still sitting there. I see the train. There it is. Ma'am, I can't. Let's go. All right. Grab that one.
Here, horsey. <laughs> what time is it? When does the train take off? Any second now. No! Hey! 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 Come on! Come on, horse! <laughs> oh, where, when's the hype train gonna take off? Come on, train. <laughs> All aboard! We're waiting. We're waiting for the uh, train to get going. I don't think the train would have enough speed to like... I guess it wouldn't matter because it would just go right over so heavy. God, even in, even in fake, uh, the fake world like this one, the train is still late. God, how long is the train going to stay there? Man. Yeah. All right, let me let me grab her. Buy a train ticket. <laughs> Come on, horse. Good horsey. Good horsey. Don't mind me just carrying this lady. It's perfectly fine. Hey. What? She just vanished. Wow, now I'm sad. Easy. Freaking loading screen or something. I think she turned into a newt. New subscriber. Mark, thank you for the prime sub. Not a noob, a newt. Well, I got better. <laughs> I've watched the, the first season of Westworld. I didn't watch the second one because I don't think like the show needs a second season. The first season was a perfect ending to the show, like period. You'll, they're never gonna outdo the, the first season. First season had just a perfect ending. 
I, I like I don't know how they could add a second ending without it feeling worse. Some good old home troops. Hey. Season two is really bad. You watch season two, it's not very good at all. That's what I was worried about. Season one was just such a well-crafted story. Not perfect, but well-crafted. I liked it. It would it would have been a great like mini series though. It's been the perfect end to a mini series. Lots of boobs. Who watches that show because of the boobs? I... Alright, here we go. Bill, I come for you. Gentlemen, <clears throat> it's time. We must go. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> but we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law, when the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Huh? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. Ensconce yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Come on, let's go. This is a clever plan. All right, good. Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. Once we're inside and I've lulled our adversaries into a false sense of security with some beguiling sales pattern, I will give you the signal. What signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, Rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. The moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John. I'm a little jittery. John? John? It reeks of miracles back here. Thank God. I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. My good men, <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? They do that now. Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. 
I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> what the hell? It's a trap! <laughs> you made your last... Now, Jack! I thought you wanted to kill me! So many of us do. Get him! Why you don't just keep dynamite sitting out? Williamson anywhere. Hey, it's the snake oil guy! General Adam let me in, for goodness sake! That fool must be hiding. Man, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You've got sense of urgency here, please! Open the gate! It's the snake oil guy! What Get the, the goddamn hell? gate open and lock it behind him! Oh, we've got company, gentlemen. These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way. Oh, my good Lord above. There must be a hundred of them. Uh-oh.
All right, let's turn it down just a little because it's a little fast on this one. Luckily, we have all the ammo. have so many dudes Bill ain't here we looked everywhere oh hold on oh, hold on I Marston. missed it Mr. Marston we got a live one he says Bill's already run off to Mexico yesterday morning <laughs> you'll never get him Javier Escuela he's gone to see Javier Escuela that should make things interesting where in Mexico I know. Oh! <laughs> Where in Mexico, you little shit? <laughs> Someplace near Chuparos, I think he said. <laughs> yes, bandit country. <laughs> Chupa feckin' Rosa. Oh, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. You just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. I'll just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with the love of social justice. <laughs> May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshal? All right, boys, that's enough. Oh. Time to get copyright striked. On YouTube. For the music, it's about to play. Mm -hmm. So many bodies. How are you? I'm what? good, buddy. Just slaughter, you know, a hundred people. Excuse me, mister. Man, where do bandits get so many people to be, to murder? It's impressive, just the sheer volume of dudes there are. That all got slaughtered. Uh, yeah, Den Ayaya is live now. If you needed something to horrify other people. Or make chat cute. This is a messy one. Oh, you don't like chat being cute? <laughs> okay, game horsey time. We need to go, uh, now we can go grab the next uh, tier horse.
Horsey? I don't know what horsey there's gonna be. Uh, let's call the war horse. Come here, horsey. There you are. All right, let's go. Let's go down to Mexico. Talk to Irish. Oh, we can give that one guy his flowers too for his wife. guy that was over here. Well, he's actually quite a ways over there now. See, the funny man's there. Flowers for ladies over there. Easy. Let's fast travel to the McFarland Ranch. Travel to. Actually, I could travel to the waypoint. That'd be faster. Let's go right there. the funny man oh he's over over there let's go Somewhere in this area, there he is. Now, can I get down there without dying? That's the question. Let's see. Very carefully. True American hero. Right. What are you doing down here? Well, I just thought I'd see a little bit of the local color, you know. <laughs> but these gentlemen have seen to it that I've enjoyed the true hospitality of the frontier. <laughs> uh, cigar? Let's get out of here. Right. All right, now he's saved. Get here. Do, 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 do. 
Let's go give that man his the wife the flowers for his wife. Let's go, Lionel. We are heading over there. Uh, this man wanted flowers for his wife. Bring me to deliver it to him right now. Kind of killed off like 10 horses back to back there, but it's fine. They're okay. Other than being dead. Get over here, partner. Hey, I got your flowers. Here's your flowers, Billy. Oh, well, thank you. Not many around these parts that help an old man with such a task. Thanks again, stranger. Come on in, have some tea with me and Annabelle. I'm sure she'd love the company. All right. Maybe just for a minute. It's my other half. Lovely Annabelle. <clears throat> Much obliged. This a man helped me find these lovely flowers, Annabelle. Oh, my God. Not half as lovely as you. <laughs> yeah, no, no. You don't look a day over 30, ma'am. Wait, it's a fine air and the good living up here in New Austin that keeps us so young and full of vigor. Annabelle was mentioning she wants to go up to Blackwater, ride one of those newfangled motor cars. Huh? No bumpy old horse carriage for my angel. <laughs> That's a good idea, Billy. I should get going. Well, you haven't had your tea. And, and, and Annabelle baked her special blackbird pie. Yeah, I'm sorry, Billy. I must have forgot. I've got an appointment with Planet Earth. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Farewell, John. Stop by any time. Oh, we play bridge on Thursdays. Oh. I, I bet you win every time, right? She could use a foot bath. Oh, God. Let's go. <laughs> oh, Lordy. That guy has some serious problems. This place is dirty. Let's go. Go back in and hit the shelf. Why? Probably despawn by now. Excuse me, madam. Are you better now? <laughs> well, I stopped the I stopped the kidnapping. Uh -oh. Whoa! Why are they attacking me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This bridge isn't done yet. Okay, try again. Whoa, who's shooting me and why? Why are they shooting me? Oh 
my god. Fine. I think the water instant killed you. Alright, let's we'll teleport away. I stopped the kidnapping, but I think I hit the woman with the horse too, so like everyone's aggroed onto me. I want lo thieves landing. Poof. Now that I have enough money, I can buy the uh, safe house over here. Meet again. Right, let's buy this little house here. Hundred dollars? Fine, whatever. It's mine forever. Wait, you want you want to do me, sir? Watch your step, partner. Why you bumping me? Because you wanted to do me. I think you bugged out. Fine. What do you think about Planet Coaster? That's a lot of fun. If you haven't played Planet Coaster, you should. I think Jack can attest how fun that one is. It's a really good uh, game. Let's do some liars dice, buddy. Each one requires an ante. Please, you wish to play or not. I'm in. Any up. Liar dice, a bit in the total number of dice on the table. That darn Walton gang took another stage, I heard. Enter initial bid. I guess that there are. One, two, three. There are. Five fives. I better go four to be safe. Four. four sixes. Caught out as a bluff. None. None. What? Jesus. That's what I like to see. This is a die for bluffing. You gonna call my bluff? One three. There's two twos. I'm gonna go. There are three. Three ones. My bed. Yep. Gaston Tidmore. Five threes. Well, looking. Those Dixie girls don't care who they go with. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Get your dice out of here, buddy. You're on your way out, amigo. Yeah, liar. I'm an honest blacksmith. Two threes. Hmm. Now are you three ones? Shit, I wonder? I'm gonna guess sure, that there are out last night. four I ones. Know. Think I'll make a bid. I swear. You sly dog. None. One. Uh oh. No! Damn it! This guy is for you. Down Jorge's gap yesterday. I'm sorry. God damn it! One, two, three, five. I hope they get that. That's you, McFarland. You're calling trouble again. I heard. I'm gonna guess there's. Hey, Ugly. Ben, you expecting my ceiling? 
two ones. All bid. Three ones. Oh. Well, I never. Leave store doesn't have any None. Hello there. One. One. <laughs> God, he's gonna lose another die. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> God, he keeps losing dice. Two threes. I have one. There are three threes. My goodness. Bye, then. Farewell. I'm going to call the bluff. Hmm. I, I smell jealous. bullshit. I'm scared. Bluff. One. Two. Oh, shit. No. God damn it. He had two. And a chance of having two. See. I'm gonna guess that there are two threes. My bit. Hmm. You look like a bullshit. None. None. One. Sorry about that. Oh, he's down. He's down to one. The game is really easy. All you you throw down the dice. You have dice under your cup that only you can see. And you have to make a guess as to how many there are on the table. And all you can see is yours. So based off yours, how much you think are under the other cups. And if you bet a high amount and someone's like, I call your bluff. You then count them, and if you're wrong, uh, then you lose a die. If if you if you're correct, then they lose a die. And whoever has, whoever loses all their dice loses. And whoever has the left at the end wins. Did you hear about that fella Three ones. Yep. Ooh, I wanna call your bluff. I call your bluff. Come here. Hello. I have none. You have none. <laughs> Get your You're dice out of there. Yeah. Got him. Wonder if you're a liar or not. A one one. New subscriber. Uh, thank you, Brain Dead, for the prime sub. I'm gonna go two. Twos. Three fours. I have none. Yeah, it's, it, nowadays you call it bullshit. But you usually play it with, I think, you play it with cards. One five. One five. I'm going to say it's spot on. I have none. Oh, no. God damn it. Guess one one. Two ones. How are you today? Hey, Han. Mm. Hello. Spot on. I ain't gonna argue with that. May I say how fine you look? I have one. He has one. Exactly two. Yes! You lose a die. That didn't go well for you. Get out of there. All right. Catching up. It's an educated guess. Nothing more. The guess is there one. There's one, two. Spot on. Good bid. Spot on. 
Good to see you. And how is <laughs> Damn it. You lose another die. You can call me if you think it's wise. Thinks there's one four. Spot on. Just what I was gonna say. It's just keeps on lying in his darn pockets, don't he? I have none. He has one. Spot on. Lose a die. Unlucky, my friend. <laughs> hey! New you? subscriber! Kawaii Kiwi, thank you for the prime sub. I don't know about He bets you. that there's one one. Spot on. Good call. I say spot on. Howdy. I have none. He has one. <laughs> there goes another die. I win. New subscriber. I'm getting good at this. Six hundred dollars. I'm scared to go out to Hennigan's stand with that. Damn. Ah. I bet you'd like to play some live die. Why was I playing Liar's yeah, Dice again? Help me! Help me! I don't cut in a horse swindling me! Get off her, you Get off of her! He was awful rough to me. Why can't all men be like you? Just a little something for my troubles. You're Maybe welcome, ma'am. Think about a different line of business. I think I did the quest. Uh. Oh, I did that one already. Uh, remember that you can win a land deed by playing Liar's Dice and Saloon at Thieves Landing. You want a deed to land up on tall trees that mechanic used to build a smooth station. He called it his erst erstwhile actor friend Spadak was said to be in Benedict Point. Convince Spadak that he isn't a true gunslinger. Never. Benedict Point. Where the hell's that? We need to fast travel over there. Win six hundred dollars from dice, kills a man for four dollars. <laughs> Hey, that's a Rockstar game, all right? <laughs> oh, come on. I'm gonna use my campfire. Is this flat enough right here? Son of a bitch! Ah! <laughs> so frustrating. There's gotta be a stagecoach over. We'll just pay for the damn thing. What about right here? Nope. All right, where's the stagecoach? Right there. In front of General Star. One thing I hope they improve in the sequel is uh, a lot of the events tend to repeat a lot. Like, look, another. Another guy taking a hoe right now. Never mind, just standing on the dead body. Never mind. Nico, let's go bowling. Are there any cuties in chat right now? Alright, 
waypoint. I need to go to Benedict Point. Feeling a little sleepy? Get some winters, and I'll wake you up there. I can feel 40 winks coming on. That'd be awesome, just like lie in the back of a of a carriage while it's like bouncing and vibrating. Everyone alive! Howdy! We gotta convince this guy that he is not a dueler. He's a. You called Spatchcock? <laughs> well, who's asking? Who do you think is asking? Good old Spatchcock. Listen, partner. You stay cool, or I'll cool you down by putting a hole in you. You've been practicing that line all week, fool. <laughs> Don't make me come over there and teach you a lesson. Man, I hope you shoot better than you act tough. And that fool really will lose some money. Now get up and fight. to work then draw you are not a duelist sir get out of here a diabetic couldn't eat you because you're full of pasta you're an impasta Let's go to Irish. Try me, buddy. Don't make me kill you. This what? No. Whoops. 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 I didn't mean to take the carriage. Now I have four horses. I think this car is four horsepower. I think I should be able to use a campfire here now. Yeah, it's not picky about this area. Let's go to Irish. Poof. And we're gonna go to Mexico. Yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well-connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. Come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax. We'll have a great time and we'll find your man, Williamson, no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? Yes. No. But not through lack of trying. Hey! Well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? 
Oh, me? Oh, um, London or Paris or, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> Well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What yeah. do you mean? Go to Mexico. In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action at Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of tits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with him. <laughs> at least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. <laughs> well, you're here now. Jesus, they're shouting at me! Cut the rope, Irish. We're sitting ducks here. Bloody Nara! You must be taking up another Irish fella. Ah. Guess I got up to more mischief than I ever did last visit to Mexico. We'll ride the river out. No oh, point trying to land till we're well away from these bastards. Reload from that box at the back. Need to. I'll drop the hundred fools like you. I simply can't stop all your fools. Got up. You got it all wrong. It wasn't me. You know who I am. Gotcha. Goddamn Mexicans. It's a miracle. You Why are you shooting at us? Welcome to Mexico, Johnny boy. Make Austin look like a Two more on Harston. Well, I'll be bumping backwards. Over there. Is this why we're, we built the wall to stop all this gunfire? You can still run away. Da, 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 da. Heads up, more of them up on the cliff to the left. I see him. Shot him in the leg. See, si, senor. This ain't exactly the reception I was expecting. He's a spy! Don't get hit! This is getting intense! What the hell did you do to these fellas? Gotcha. Hey, what else? This is the fourth time your 
your so-called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. At least the lassies do. Oh, the big brown eyes. Turn stone into butter, they would. The have you not seen the movie Coco? Icy Kicks? <laughs> now there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're going to have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellas trying to kill you. Down here, they call me El Rato, the cat, on account of me stealth and cunning. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it, though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? Freaking show you how creative I am, damn it. Shite! There's more fools behind that rock! Oh, God! It never ends! Ha! Bloody Nara! I haven't stepped foot in this country and they're already trying to Say hello to my friend Chester. Win Chester. Well, you will insist on fraternizing with a notorious Irish outlaw. Got him. You really want to die, friend? Apparently they do. When am I going to learn not to ever trust Irish? Ever. Look up, fellas. They're on top of the cliff. I see him. Oh, there will always be more, John. Now what are you gonna do? I bet you they'll keep sending more dudes. That's what they do. Oh my good lord! Three! <laughs> Ten! What's the word for foot in Spanish? You tell me. You must have been called it a few times. How the hell has this raft not crashed? There's even rocks in the middle of the water. On the cliff to your left, more the bastards. Come on now! Stop that! I hope you got money for a funeral! So much for your damn connections, Irish. I told you they knew me in Mexico, didn't I? You ain't getting another penny out of me. Watch your top neck list. You're shooting down on us. Welcome to Mexico. We haven't even stepped foot in the country yet. We're on the river between the two. I'll miss these escapades, Johnny boy. I really will. I doubt you'll remember any of it, Irish. Oh, those are our horses. Can I see that? The current should put us ashore up ahead. God damn it, there's another two. We made it, thank the Lord. Boy, glad to be getting out of that floating death trap. Thanks for all your help, <laughs> Irish. <laughs> These horses look fresher. <laughs> And healthy. Oh my god. You grade these poor fools any further. Tell me what Oh my god. Of course, of course. Let me think. 
You do know people down here, aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I met an American guy, uh, saw him shoot a man, drank with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> or was that Canada? No. That was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. I uh, played three-card stud with him. Uh, or was it four-card Monty? I forget. Uh, he was a real nice chap, or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. The famed hospitality isn't what it once was. And I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a fat, ugly man. But not a bad one. <laughs> Here we go, copyright strike. Let's go. Muted audio on the video. Damn drivers. That sunset's so beautiful. Step in front of the front 
new subscriber. Thanks for subbing hey, Spicy Chicken. New subscriber. Thank you, Will Mori, for subbing. I hope in the next game you can feed your horse carrots. Come on. Remember your first time doing this part? This before. This is before Twitch was a thing, like big, a big thing. So like you experience this for you play this yourself for the first time. Without it being spoiled. Imagine just remember your first time doing that scene riding against the sunset, the song starts playing out of nowhere. Then you accidentally get off your horse and it stops the song and you get real pissed off. New Mexican property now. My little. Is it Escuela? Does that mean house or is that school? <laughs> What's the word for school? I mean, for house. My casa, that's it. My casa, not school. Mexican poncho. Ooh. Oh, Mikasa Sukasa. I get it now. 